So Philanthropy Tank, they are looking to inspire this whole next generation of change makers out there. And right now, this organization encouraging students making a difference in Palm Beach County to go and apply for this year's class. And we're going to get to all that in just a minute. But I want you to meet Philanthropy Tank student Talia Giovanni joining us now live to tell us about this whole experience. Thank you so much for being here this morning. First, I want to start. Why did you apply for Philanthropy Tank? And tell us, of course, what the whole project was about. That's the best part. Hi, thank you for having me. So my project is called STEMinist, which is a cross between STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, and feminist. And so as the president at Spanish River High School, in order to expand our volunteer work, I went reached out to Philanthropy Tank in order to earn funding and mentorship in order to help me send packages for my monthly STEM and female empowerment classes with girls in the foster care system. And now you got selected as a finalist. I mean, that's a big deal. Congratulations. What was that experience like for you after, I got to think, a lot of hard work to get to that final point? Yeah, so it was definitely a process. And when I was finally selected as a finalist, I was honestly honored because I knew it wasn't just for me. Obviously, it was an honor, but I was more excited that I knew it was going to really impact the lives of the foster girls that I work with. And tell me, I, I got to think there are a lot of obstacles. There are a lot of moments where maybe you had some doubts, didn't know if it would all come together in the end. So how do you believe that you, you grew through this whole process? What were some of those takeaway things that you learned from the entire thing? A big thing would be to trust the process and philanthropy tank overall because they have such great help sessions and workers like Corey and Matthew that are there to assist you with every single step. And it's a great process to really help you figure out your project. Um, my biggest piece of advice would definitely be to just have a goal and some type of social impact that you want to make because I didn't exactly have a complete direction with my project and they really helped me pull it all together. So if you just have any cause that you feel passionate about and you'd love to change, I would very much suggest that you apply teens all across Palm Beach County to really make that difference and you'll pull together a project with the help of them and it'll be a great experience. Talia, I love it. Where did the motivation for this, this come from? When did you first get the spark to even do this idea? Well, since I was younger, I faced some discrimination as women in STEM, and that's how my project started. But when Philanthropy Tank was presented to me, there were some other programs in my school that were already using their help. I thought it was the great next step to move forward, and it turned out to be an amazing experience. Well, thank you so much for being here and telling us about your project, and congratulations on being a finalist. It's a huge deal. So you. if you at home, if this sounds like something maybe you're interested in, maybe you even know somebody you think would be really great to be a part of this, there is a way for you to apply. I want to go through that with you right now. First, there are some rules. You have to be in 8th uh, through 12th grade. You have to live in Palm Beach County or go to a Palm Beach County school. And lastly, you have to submit a project that directly addresses a social issue specifically within the county, so within Palm Beach County. Now, if you'd like additional information, that's a little snapshot for you. You could go and submit an application. Just go to philanthropy-tank.org to find out more details. Erin, over to you. Always love hearing their ideas. It's incredible. Very cool.